the kind kind of in the middle or at the start of the second map there, we had a lengthy pause due to a bat um, actually flying into uh, into one of the players' windows. Um, it was a whole whole huge ordeal, but either way, uh, fantastic uh, casters Weenus and and Murda inverted their cameras. Just just a, a little bit of extra extra um, flair. <clears throat> so maybe one day I'll get to their level. No, oh, I was a huge fan of that moment. And uh, I don't didn't didn't we quite get any of the. Ready we, to go. Yeah, we are ready to go. Okay. Don't have any of the bands, uh, you know, map bands and and pick or whatnot. But we'll find out here as we kick it into our beautiful draft overlay. All right. So it looks like the red team Montreal style bagels will be banning first. Yeah, I'm looking at that uh, pronunciation, and I think it's Montreal style bagels. <clears throat> yeah, um, on the cool. red side here, uh, with their lovely, uh, the lovely icon. Um, as you can see, it looks like they're comparing. Um, it's it's showing you basically a New York City mm -hmm. bagel. Uh, oh, I said bagel. I'm sorry, bagel uh, versus. Oh, well. There's New York City bagels, and then Montreal, their style is a bagel. Bagel. Yes, that's that's uh, kind okay. of yeah. kind of what I would say. Yeah. I, I think I tend to say bagel. Um, but here we go. We do have um, the first ban and first pick is coming from the red hand side here, um, meaning that uh, insomnia insomnia has selected the map. <clears throat> okay. How is it doom? Is, uh, you got a little experience on this map, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I got some, uh, I got some, I think that was a, a, is that a jab at our little scrimmage here on this map? Uh, it, si? it was more of a, uh, alluding to BJ, um, completely messing with my mind and telling me maps you guys are bad at and good at. I had no idea what to what to believe because I was getting a lot of conflicting information. Yeah, and uh, either way, yo, Alice, thank you so much for that oh gift sub. God. We are we are uh, Alice missing. Alice is just. Alice is going off. it like he stole it. He's super excited to see Casey on screen here, <laughs> and uh, uh, what? Well, let's hop into these bands. We've missed them all uh, as we're just kind of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. having a good brotherly back moment. The, back to the topic at hand here. But we got the bagels banning out. Uh, Zeratul, a nub, locking in that Ana first pick. Uh, very strong healer. I, I would expect to see, um, you know, that from this heroic division. And then, meanwhile, Abathur and Maya have banned out um, by Insomnia. And I don't know if you noticed this, but the player the playing Anna is Montreal Style Bagels ban Anna. Oh my goodness! A little foreshadowing there, perhaps. Yeah, it's maybe. Se uh, it seems like they didn't uh, follow the call. <laughs> they did not follow the call. Or, or respect respect the call for the they Anna ban. Absolutely did not respect oh the Anna. They didn't respect the summoner name. Really, when it comes down to it. Yeah, and um, then Insomnia here, uh, taking up, taking that T Ronda, taking the Dahaka. Now, uh, Atlas was just telling me that he recently learned that Taranda is a niche pick, and that his build that he uses every time requires two healers to block, which I didn't know, because he seems to do sufficient healing with it. But apparently, a Storm Leak okay. pro player uh, let him know that it was okay. it required double support to pull Interesting. off. Interesting. Is that just that specific the, build? The build he takes every time. Okay. <laughs> and probably probably the most banned hero against us. So I never I learned that today. I thought it was enough for one. Uh, and here we go. Uh, we do have Diablo Hanzo coming in hot for the bagels. Um, and then the the uh, third band face is gonna go over to that Malthayal, Um and then Garrosh getting taken out. Have you done any uh, any scouting on these teams? You any idea if those are. Nope, nope. I mean, they all seem to be pretty strong heroes right now. Um, yeah. Just be. Because he could go either way. Yeah, the Malthayal is a little bit. Uh, that might come from some, some scouting. Uh, of course, uh, you know. The Crusade. He's not. He's, I think Malthayal is a pretty strong pick in the, in the meta right now, but he's not, he's not especially seen too often in, in my leagues, um, in my games, you know. So perhaps that that could come from a kind of a uh, you know, some a little bit of scouting. Um, and a uh, blue blue overcoat. Thank you so much for that clip. We will check that out later. Um, appreciate that. Hopefully you're having a great great night here. Joining us uh, for the first match uh, of this series, best of three, heroic division, NGS. 
and the Uriel, as Bob would say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, I, I believe it's actually pronounced Uriel. Yeah, the Uriel coming out and the Lee Mang. Okay, a lot of a uh, lot of poke from a distance for those points, with a pretty beefy front line for MS Beagles. Hmm. Ooh. And there's the Genzi, the Cyber Buns are I, coming um, in hot. Very excited for this matchup right now with the Genji in there. Yeah, I, I do really like kind of thinking about this uh, oh, little this map, here. this draft. Um, you know, I think MSB they they have a lot of uh, potential for interrupting um, that channel on those uh, uh, you know uh, objective points there. So between between the Lee Ming poke, the Hanzo poke, the Ana. Um, I think they can do a really good job at kind of stalling out and uh, interrupting that channel. Um, I feel uh, my thoughts are that if Diablo and Yurel can peel and keep Hanzo and Li Ming safe, uh, I think this game is going to go to them. Um, and Samia looks like they have a lot of lockdown and blow up if they can get Jaina and Genji to the back line, especially with the Tyrande stun from a distance, and I mean, Joanna yeah. can just pretty much go wherever she wants. So I think it's going to come down to the Diablo and the... I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Iariel, I think? Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, Iariel. Iariel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that is a good point there. Genji can do very... Uh, do some... Tear apart that back line um, if he's able to kind of zip in there. Um, so yeah, let's kick it into the in-game overlay uh, for the first match here. Yeah, this is a best of three series. Um, I, th I'm also going to be doing another cast um, at 11 uh, p.m. tonight, uh, which is about an hour and a half away. Potential co-casters of myself and or Bob Zombie. Yeah, we might see Casey if he wants to stick around. Um, I mean, bring in a bench and get all three of us just. Yeah, we we could sitting right across. We could pony on up here and do a a, a three three uh, three way cast. I don't think it's been done before. First um, history first. But either way, it's going to be a great time here having my my real life brother, flesh and blood, Casey, uh, uh, joining me again, and um, potentially uh, Bob here later. Prepare yourself for battle, heroes. Mm. Alrighty, and here on the left-hand side with Insomnia, we got Psycho on the Tyrande, French played uh, by Jaina here, Bat Battle Jet on the Genzi, uh, Wall Wally Snit on the Johanna, and Jamster um, with a little Mastery Taunt action going on on the Dahaka. And over to the red team, we have got Christy on Diablo, Ban Anna on Anna. Dijira on Hanzo, Breakwood on Li Ming, and Fiducia on Iariel. This is still not loud. Excuse me here one moment. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so it uh, looks like kind of a, just a, you know, double rotation, um, trying to clear out the mid mid and move on down to bottom there for insomnia johanna just run, really trying to slow them down um yeah as they are already on top of clearing out that lane and they're on their way back to the middle lane here the power of johanna jaina is that yeah, you can just blast down strong. full waves yeah and they're taking full advantage of that really uh excelling in the wave clear yeah, head right to that camp. Yeah, we do see a nice early camp here from Insomnia. It is going to be scattered out by the Hanzo. It's going to be moving into probably a little bit of poke, and it looks like MSB might be invading here. Uh... Okay. Meanwhile, on the top lane, just kind of uh, two solo laners squaring off. Shout out to all you solo lane players out there. Can uh, I think you know not not the most interesting to watch. 
But um, definitely, uh, there's a lot of skill, I would say, in the solo lane. A lot of ways to directly outplay your opponent. Um, and meanwhile, uh, MSB is moving into this camp, but is heavily scouted as we see three, four members all posturing this poor oh, little this Hanzo. very scary for Hanzo here. And there is that lockdown burst. The, the best Shimada brother is confirmed Genzi as Hanzo will fall. And it looks like uh, Insomnia is going to be stealing this camp. Yeah, that's something that um, MSB is going to have to be very careful of with Toronto, able to provide so much vision. Um, and then, like we said, that really strong lockdown, really big burst. If you're sending just one one hero to that camp, it uh, might not be a good day for him. I'm kind of looking over some talents. We do see um, simple geometry coming out from Hanzo. I think that can get a lot of value here on these uh, on these turn in points. Um, uh, meanwhile, Wally Smith getting flipped over, but uh, you know it's just Johanna. She's gonna be able to walk out of this one. And here we do have the first triple altar phase of the game. Typically, we will see we would see both kind of solo lanes each grabbing their respective uh, altar. And then, kind of a majority of the team uh, members clumped up around this bottom one. The Lord demands it. The altar is ours. Fire upon okay, Li Ming is coming down to join to make this an even 4v4. Insomnia right now doing a pretty solid job of uh, putting some damage in and keeping him zoned out. Uh oh, meanwhile, Christy's falling off a low here. The Diablo is looking like she might fall. Wally Snick going in deep. The Johanna trying to peel for the team. Uh, no, no one has channeled this altar yet, um, but a lot of poke damage from the side of MSB between that Hanzo, yeah. between that Li Ming. Um, and we're going to see the blue side here going back to lick their wounds. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, a good demonstration right, of where MSB's strength is in this draft, where <clears throat> Insomnia has that a lot of potential for ganks and blow up on these points. It's going to be very tough for them to... Unless they're able to secure a kill very quickly, the Li Ming and the Hanzo are going to be able to just delay that for so long. Yeah, but in the meantime, Jaina does go down here, but it might be a... Uh, j just uh, to the first first to altar going over to the red team here, as they were able to drop that Jaina. Yeah, it and looks like um, Urel might be moving in for an invade on that camp. Let's yep, they're, they're going to... I really like this play here from MSB. They are just about to ding level 7. Um, they just secured that kill on Jaina, so it's going to th give them enough confidence uh, to go ahead and steal that camp. Jaina's going to go ahead and make quick work of that. Um, I, another reason I think she's a, one of the best kind of well-rounded mages. She's got burst damage. She can clear out camps. She can uh, soak, soak lanes um, and, and also delete enemy teams. Um, Kind of a little 4v4 scuffle here down at the bottom. Johanna going awful deep on the, uh, on Hanzo, but he does jump out of that. Uh, that Lunar Flare was so close to connecting, and that would have secured a kill. But he's got that natural agility kicking in. You know, it looks like they're... MSG is going to have Urel do a little bit of double soaking here, but they've got the Dahaka coming to match her. Yep, she did pick up that Divine Steed Talon at level uh, 7, giving her that instant mount so she can kind of bounce back and forth between the lanes. A, lot, a very common strategy here is to you want to provide the most pressure on the bottom lane as there's both of these camps, uh, both of these sapper camps. Meanwhile, MSB is going to start the see camp. see another fighter. Oh. Yep, good, good peels from the Diablo coming out here. Uh-oh, this Lunar Flare connects. The Blizzard is going down. Diablo's falling awful low. Take the altars. Um, but it looks like he's going to walk away safely. And now Jamster all of a sudden popping the Essence, healing up to full here. French is the new kill target. As Jane is falling awful low. 100 health, but um, not enough to finish. And it looks like all players might get out of this one alive here. And this is the kind of plays that uh, makes... Heroes, uh, heroic engine. So exciting! But oh, meanwhile, Genji's cyber buns get spanked, and he's deleted. Uh, current Shimada, best Shimada, Hanzo. The Shimada Cup back to House Hanzo. Oh, and he just secured another title on that cup. Another, another looks two, like two for nothing kills here, and they're going to be picking up both altars. And 
Haga's falling half level lead. Yep, half level lead. Haga's falling awful low, and he will go down as well. Level 10s are right around the corner here for the red team. Okay. Alts are coming online now for MSG. We've got Nano Boost on Ana. Dragon Zero for Hanzo. Wave of Force on the Li Ming. Ardent Defender on Urel. And Diablo yet to choose. He'll go Apoc. It's going to be that big Apocalypse. That's kind of what I like to see as the uh, Diablo player myself. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they are going to go ahead and, and just... That's what I was talking about earlier. Just putting so much pressure on this bottom lane here. Um, Urel is able to secure the top camp for him as well. And yeah, we did have Jaina making a rotation up to the top there. Um... Might but now level 10s are floor. online for the blue team. We have Water Elemental coming out, Isolation, X-Strike, Shadowstock, and Blessed Shield. Um, and then also this Bell Tower is looking uh, primed for the taking. Uh, but the meanwhile, Blessed Shield comes out. The engage is on. MSP, a Breakwood here on Leeming as a target. X-Strike goes out. He's falling awful low, but a nice uh, nice Dragon Zero stun interrupting uh, the blue team. Here, the nano boosted Li Ming could mean a lot of trouble for... The blue team if they're unable to secure a kill on her. And it looks like they're going to end that. We saw a lot safe. of alts come on, out from both play, uh, both teams here. Mm -hmm. And now the uh, first altar, or the, the uh, this bottom altar phase is spawning. Um, but MSB, MSB going to a pretty strong advantage. They have Wave of Force, Apoc, Art and Defender still up where the blue team is, just has isolation on the Hawkeyes. Johanna kind of creeping in, does get a nice interruption. But meanwhile, Jamster might be the target. He burrows in, he's awful low. He pops his essence. Um, and here comes a big Apoc, uh, clips Taronda, and she might be the kill target here, being died by Urel. Taronda will fall. Taronda will fall. Reset City for Li Ming, um, as we, we do see um, a lot of a lot of members here. Um, Blue side kind of on the retreats. Um, Wally Snit is now the next to fall. It's a two for nothing trade in favor of the Bagels. And with that, it looks like they will easily secure that altar and the tower. Hey, okay, welcome Joe Zombie to the first uh, match Ooh, here. Nice delay by Toronto, but it won't be enough. It's not going to be enough. They are going to secure that, but we're looking. And we're that watching, actually, uh, I was I was actually curious to see what would happen there because she had started. Maybe you can tell me she had started the channel before they took the bottom bell tower. Um, while she was still mid-channel, it dinged at the bottom to five, so I was curious to see if it would get five shots, but with the Taronda stun, yeah, it would now so definitely get five shots, but it, I think to see what would happen if, if that hadn't happened. The condition would be on, on the finish of the channel, so if that okay. number ticked up to five, the channel then finishes, sure. that, they so would get that many shots here. <clears throat> we got level 13s coming online for MSB. They're sitting in a nice position, um, looking awful dominant on a map, um, I believe... Uh, they were they had first pick there, correct? They, they, cause they, they took first pick, yep. Yeah, so, so Insomnia um, kind of brought us here to Towers of Doom, and MSB is doing an awful job at showing um, they're well uh, well prepared to play um, here tonight in the heroic uh, NGS uh, division. And as if you notice, like, we, we've spent most of the time here in the bottom lane. Uh oh, meanwhile, big Dragon Arrow comes out. Uh, Apoc is popped as well, but it does not connect. Water Elemental in response. Hanzo just doing a great job at chunking down that chain up. He's putting a, a lot of damage output. Um, we can kind of kick it over here and look at some stats. Let's see, they're, yeah, they're going to just continue... Pressuring that bot lane, and Urel's come down to take their camp. You might see, uh, just, I, I think the play is just get a pick and hopefully escort as many of those pumpkins in as possible. Yeah, we Johanna, do have these top yeah. two altar spaces spawning, and Diablo is going to be rotating up. Um, should be able to get the channel. Meanwhile, Hanzo moving in on the left hand side here um, with Li Ming, going to be doing an uh, incredible job at poking. Um, this is bad for Insomnia. They let the bottom camp go. Uh, they may have enough time to channel this and get the altar, but those pumpkins, they're going to walk right in. The last minion is going to die for Insomnia, and we've got three shots of the bot lane for 
MS Bagel. Uh oh, hold on here. Urel's going in deep. She pops the Argent Defender. Stun is coming out on Genji. Protected does go go down here. Uh, but meanwhile, Genji still falls. As Li Ming is now in Reset City, baby. One, two kills. Three kills in favor of the red team. And they are moving in. Uh, looking for Psycho as well. To fall. Yeah, as you did point out there, those pumpkins, uh, those pumpkins walked in. Jaina goes as well. Um, this is looking like bad news bears here for Insomnia. Um, I, I, I can guess that they're not going to be getting some sleep tonight. Uh, after this tower's They doom. certainly will not. I mean, the meanwhile, the boss is going over. There's two core shots remain. I just want to give a little shout out to that Hanzo play, uh, hopping over uh, these trees, queuing the Jaina for the kill, and then the immediate hop back to head right to the boss. Oh yes, like right, right around this area. Beautiful, beautiful Hanzo play here coming out by uh, Dejira. Um, as we did kind of look at some of these damage numbers, he's currently sitting at 53k hero damage. Um, and from the blue hand side, Jaina leading with 38k. So. Um, the Hanzo is definitely something that I think could see a ban out um, in the next se next match here. It looks like right now MSB is just buying a little bit of time to get that 16 tick, and then I would not be surprised if we see a big engage at the bot. Especially as uh, the blue team is getting very split. Oh, Diablo goes in. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, big Dragon Arrow comes out. The APOC wasn't enough. Both of those players are going to be walking away, and they're going to be knocking down this bottom bell tower. Um, and Shirley here, the triple alt altar phase. Only Boy, two shots Johanna. remaining. Um, this is this is definitely uh, going to be the end of this first matchup here with uh, the Bagels having a pretty yeah. dominant performance, only losing one altar in total. Activate them now. It looks like these players aren't ready. They still want to fight. Um, we get one less uh, fight down here in the bottom lane. Dahaka does fall. Oh, uh, Genji falls. Johanna. Taronda. And now Christy begins the channel. First map. This will be it. It's going over to MSB. The GGs are flying. The 99s are flying. The GGs, some 99s out there. That's clever, clever, uh, a little clever variation on the whole GG. You know, it looks similar. I like it. It really stands out. And looking at some of the end game stats here, we did have uh, MSB um, looking pretty, pretty damn good with fifth, 15 total takedowns um, to one. Yeah, um, pretty dominant game. And yeah, like I said, they only dropped that one uh, altar. Wow. But I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't. Uh, you know, wouldn't count out Insomnia. You know, keep this is the uh, heroic division here. So I th the, these teams are definitely, uh, I would say, gotten accustomed to defeats. And I think you know, uh, keeping a level head is definitely something that they have experience with. I can assume. Absolutely. There's a, a lot of games um, that I've seen where game one is a, quite a, a stomping and a team has came back to go to 2-0 yeah. or 2-1. Um, sometimes it just takes that first uh, first loss, realize you got to put your try-hard pants on, and then you adjust. Or maybe it just comes down to you realize who you need to ban or who you need to take first. Yeah, and I think so that Hanzo yeah. is definitely going to be a... Uh, crucial part of this next draft here, whether he's uh, banned out or taken away, or if he just goes through again. Um, I'd be curious to see also if they maybe prioritize a Diablo ban. He he did a really good job of keeping that Hanzo safe in yeah. most of those fights where he could uh, was able to safely put out that damage. Yeah, um, and the uh, yeah, I'm trying to think back here from uh, the bans from the blue side. I think we saw, so we Abathur, saw Abathur and uh, uh, Maya, I believe. Third Maya, yep. Yeah, Abathur Maya were the first. So. Wondering how they're going to adjust here, because um, I think you Joe know. Zombie, thank you. Uh, My Mayev and uh, you know the Mayev and the Abathur, those are still two really strong bands. So yeah, 
and uh, I'm near positive here that in the heroic division we've got players um, that can pilot those two heroes and um, it looks like we're gonna be going to Tome of the Spider Queen and Jason Haas. Jason Haas coming in with a big raid thank you so much Jason hopefully you had a good stream there buddy and welcome to the uh, we're just about to start uh, the second match uh, of this best of three for NGS Heroic Division. We've got Insomnia on the blue side here going up against MSB. I'm joined by my lovely brother, Casey, AC of Excel Esports. Um, soon to be Die for Vision. Soon to be Die for Vision. They are changing their name uh, for next season and for Heroes Lounge. Um, but, and it looks like we're going to be going to Tome of the Spider Queen here. A lot of big changes coming in for Die for Vision. So any members out there who may be watching, feel free to uh, post your home address that you would receive mail at. <laughs> Atlas knows what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I can't follow you I'll, on this I'll one. I'll tell you off stream. Tell me off stream. Indeed, indeed here. We're just waiting for one last player to connect. And I'm let's just take a quick peek see here at Discord. I, don't, I didn't ever get any of the bands. Um, so I can't really show off this lovely and beautiful uh, NGX Season 6 map pool overlay. But we uh, will find out. Yeah, we'll find we out. Towers of Doom was picked first. So we will see. Uh, yeah. Won't be Towers of Doom. So Towers of Doom was map one, and it was picked by the left team, and the right team Correct. was the victor. Yep. Um, we can get a nice good look at that uh, New York City bagel versus the Montreal oh, bagel. Um, Quick look at those. Yeah, and just uh, just kind of an observation. Uh, the Montreal Bagel, it's got a, a larger uh, you know hole there, which was kind of like make for maybe um, a rough time spreading cream cheese, maybe more likely to get it on your hands. Yeah, I'm not sure the. Uh, I think it requires a more a little bit more finesse with your knife hand. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you, you can't just go in there <laughs> slapping cream cheese around. If I'm eating a bagel. Yeah, I just kind of like to get a big scoop of cream cheese and just slop it in there. Oh, yeah. I'll so. use my hand if the cream cheese is soft. <laughs> slop it down and slop it in. But with that bagel, I mean, you get the cream cheese everywhere, and you just, that's that's no fun. Yeah, we do have uh, we're, last couple moments here while these players uh, get their portrait synergy on uh, on point. I'm uh, curious about the, uh, the gluten content on the two bagels, how that relates. <laughs> Uh, how's it going, Volks? How are you doing here tonight? Uh, she was team with three girls. Ooh, it, uh, it's very possible that I messed that one up. Um, could have said he on accident there, so I do apologize. But we're going to be going into Toma the Spider Queen. Um, and blue team kind of mixing up the, the bands, nub. taking out a nub. Yeah, no, that's interesting because I think last game, Montreal banned out a nub. Okay. I, was, I was, uh, wasn't sure if we saw any involvement from him there. Yeah, he okay. was one of the... Um, I believe Montreal took a nub. Z yeah, Zerid Tool was first, a nub was second for Bagels. Okay. Now we'll see what Sami is going to take out. Spider Queen. Maya. It's going to go, going to be the Maya. So Avatar is going to go through, but I think that's kind of okay on Spider Queen here. Uh, you know, definitely not his best map because it is so, uh, so small. And over to the Bagels, what are they going to ban out? Just eat a donut, you health freaks. Ooh, I'm uh, donuts yeah. are my we. I'm I'm a, I'm a sucker for donuts. I don't I don't ever I'm buy a them. Large donut fan. Are you? <laughs> I'm a big donut fan as well. The Boston cream, forget about it. No, oh, I don't like any any kind of stuffed donut. Uh, not Ooh. not for me personally. Fair enough. I can respect that. Just like a good old fashioned glaze. Um, and then we got Anna getting picked up by Psycho. Interesting. So they are taking away the Anna. And Jaina and Johanna will go over to Bagel. I think each team was kind of like, you know what? I like their draft better. Yeah. We're just going to do that. Yeah. I'll have what he's having or she, he or she is having. <laughs> um, but I, I, I love the Johanna pickup. Uh, the Johanna and Jaina is, uh, uh, I think, a really strong combination yeah. on this map. I'm providing a lot of lane clear and ooh. Golden. Ooh, I like that too. Um, I know you're a big fan of Daniel on this map. Yeah. I, I also really like the Danny. Fan. Gold Danny boy. See uh, the last bands coming out? 
in Montreal. We got an Atlas, Atlas Wow uh, saying, calling out, pointing to the fences for a Chogol. Well, I'm not wearing my Chogol <laughs> t-shirt actually, um, but I was last time. Mess that one up. <clears throat> it's about to be like Chogol, but no, it's it's just a Twin Peaks t-shirt here. And then Imperious uh, for that yeah. third ban. Okay. Uh, or I like to I like to call him Inspirious. Inspirious. He's got a spear. Yeah, I, I stole that one from B Train Seven Four. <laughs> uh, phenomenal uh, uh, caster. Um, also player in the NGS. Um, my, oh, my... <laughs> Colby McWolby is my new main. Big Boston. Boston uh... creams are heaven's gift to all men. Agreed. <laughs> ten slash ten. You know what? I I I, I probably would get down with a Boston cream donut. I probably would. It'd probably be great. Ooh. And then they're going with the interesting uh, Uriel again. <laughs> the yeah. Yrel. I don't. I'm not sure Y-Rel. how you pronounce that name. I'll have to ask Bob. Let me let me dial up Bob Zom and get the pronunciation on that. Uh, well, I space believe uh, Chips with Salsa said it's currently pronounced Eat Rel. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Eat Rel for this game. And we will see. And a white main. Also, that's the kind of an interesting pickup. I'm excited to see yeah. how. Uh, Oh, and Malthio comes through and Malthio comes out. And, and the, high lord. the High Lord. Whoa. I know somebody in the chat who is very excited to see some High Lord play. Will we see and him take advantage of the questing buddies, aka the walls? The walls, <laughs> the towers, the moon wells, the forts, the keeps. Yep. Little uh, little uh, shout the out NPCs. to NPCs. <laughs> NPCs, yeah. Everyone's a questing buddy if you're good enough. M uh, MVP Black's uh, Rich, or uh, Gen G's Rich. <laughs> More like R.I.P. Black. Yes. So sad. Um, and yeah, here we go. And then, yeah, the Hanzo. Um, all right. Okay. All right, so chat. Throw out your votes. Um, you thinking Insomnia? We thinking MSB? Let's hear who and why. Atlas calling out the white main is interesting. I agree. Yeah, white main. Um... I've, I've learned from Atlas, who is uh, does a little bit of supporting, that white main excels at single target healing, and the way to beat her is to spread out your damage across multiple heroes. So, so we'll see. With that being said, something like Gul'dan looks like pretty good damage. Is um, yeah. we're gonna see a lot of AOE um, coming out from the side of Insomnia. And speaking of Insomnia, they're gonna be on the blue side here tonight. Heroic NGS, best two out of the three. They're down a map, but let's see if they can do it. We got Psycho on the Ana. We've got Jamster on that Malfield French playing the Gul'dan. Wally Snit on the uh, Garrosh, and then Battle Jet. On the High Lord Alarak. And on the red side, we've got Christy on the Johanna, Banana on that White Mane, Dijira on Hanzo, Breakwood on Jaina, and Fiducia on Yeet Rel. Yeet Rel with a Pleb Horse. Zero Fs given. I'm gonna be going down to the bottom lane here. I'm kind of the uh, solo lane of the. Spider Queen. Um, a little fun fact also, Spider Queen is actually located directly below uh, Sky Temple. And there's uh, a couple Easter really? eggs, yeah. Interesting. Uh, a couple Easter eggs on that map. Never knew that. Yeah, I, be I believe that I believe that's the case there. I'll have to check the lore. I think there's a spider or two or something you can see on Sky Temple. I remember Bob telling me about that. Maybe a little bit later on uh, 11 p.m. Uh, EST, which is about an hour away. Bob Zom might uh, might be here in the flesh, and he can give some insight. <laughs> so far, pretty pretty tame here. Um, again, these teams are probably going to be looking to just rotate, um, kind of run mid top, mid top, grab those gems, keep good vision over the uh, turn in points, and a little bit of a mix up from the Hanzo. Um, on Q build. Going Q build here, we did see uh, and so, uh, full scatter arrow. On yeah, we towers. Yeah. You know, I, I think on this map, scatter arrow, it's going to be a little bit harder to get value. There's not too many uh, great narrow choke points. 
yeah, this map, fairly small. It's, you can get off a lot of clean shots with the Q. Um, and hitting at that turn and, and you're back and forth between those two lanes, typically with the four, it might be easy. Fast for him to get that Q. But we'll see how that goes. Yep, both both teams here pretty pretty dead even. Oh, a big, big combo command from the High Lord. Uh, on that white main. Pretty much near neck and neck on the gems. Um, definitely in the bottom lane. I'd say Malfiel is going to be winning this matchup, providing way more uh, damage output. Um, though Urel does have quite a bit of self-sustain. And level 4s are all coming online for both teams here. Okay, we do have uh, we do have some uh, an update here on the connection uh, between Sky Temple and Spider Queen. Joe Zom in the chat says Harrison Ford is on this map and Sky Temple. Interesting. Let's keep my eyes peeled. Um, all right, so we're gonna see MSB going over to secure that Bruiser camp, as it looks like. Yeah, the power of Jaina, she lets you uh, bang out those camps uh, really fast here, and usually the Bruiser is kind of a hard one to. Find the time for as you really yeah. got to be on top of the lanes, on top of the turn-in points. We do have Insomnia responding with a Bruiser of their own. Gul'dan gonna, gonna be chipping away at that. Both teams looking pretty even on gems at this point. So this first turn is still gonna be anyone's. And we're just getting to that point where both teams have enough. Battle Jet's getting a little bit caught out here. Um, a lot of damage going out, but he is going to be safe. Kind of leaning into the uh, E build, which I think is pretty common. Um, Uh oh, hold on. MSB Christie might be the target here. Johanna getting flipped. Uh, combo by Grush and a uh, big damage coming out from all the members uh, from Insomnia. It's not going to be enough, but she will burn that tap. And she's one uh, appetizing uh, piggy bank there, sitting with 22 gems. Almost enough to secure that point on her own up. And we're gonna see... Uh, names. Insomnia. Securing that first turn with Malfeo, making a safe turn there. Yep, that nice little bit of pressure and aggression that they had on the Johanna um, was able to be enough of a um, time killer to secure that first uh, Weaver phase for the blue team here. I'm very interested to see how uh, this team will split this first objective. It's something that I'm always uh, oftentimes unsure about. Oh, and then we'll see the, the triple E quest completed for Alarak. Ooh, spicy. Johanna kind of continuing Still. to take a beating here. 16 stacks sitting on the gold Daniel. Um, yeah, so it looks like they're... Uh-oh, French is kind of staying a little bit late here. Slow's going out, but Ana is going to be landing some heals and a nice sleep dart to peel. French is going to be walking away, um, almost getting enough damage out on the Hanzo. Okay, and so here we'll see MSB go ahead and clear off that last Weaver. Um, not pretty, pretty solid defense for him. Looks like they're gonna lose just mid well and... Uh oh, Wally Snitz got his eyes on Urel, but she will get away with that instant mount. And yeah, it was a nice defense. Um, just the walls lost, as you mentioned there. Um... Ooh. Johanna might be in a little bit of trouble here. And she's gonna be so strong with that trait. Just run away. So yeah, and Spider Queen, this Christy, is the... looking like really wants a turn in here. Maybe tough to sneak one bot with Malfail. Yeah, I'd say the name of the game here is goaltending, keeping vision on those two turn-in points, getting the lanes pushed up, uh, which will allow you to do so. Um, so it, a lot meanwhile, of times. Oh, meanwhile, Insomnia really uh, closing in on enough gems for a second turn in here. About ten away. French taking a little bit of damage, but he is going to be... Uh-oh, I, I, I totally missed a, a clutch turn in there. Christy. 
Um, Christy will secure one of the top. Yeah, securing that top uh, turning point, and we will see the first, uh, the second web weaver phase. Um, and it's going to be going out to uh, the bagels. Level 10's right around the corner. Um, really a clutch pickup. Uh oh, meanwhile, Jaina gets comboed. Uh, Big trouble for Jaina here. Oh, oh and Garrosh will fall, uh, get, get that, that kill. That looks to be about... Okay, I was about to say. Handful of gems lost, but White Man is able to secure those for the team. It was really a clutch pick there for uh, for Insomnia, as now they can't... Uh, the Bagels can't really fully commit as hardly uh, now that they're down a player. Um, yeah, and also that that turn in um, that turn in for the red team was uh, it's a very important because without it uh, having tens come online, it's gonna be a lot harder to secure that. Oh, big dragon's arrow connects on the mouthfield. He's gonna be the target. We have both tanks moving in. Um, Jamster looking awful low and nice uh, kind of teleport away. Uh oh, big ring of frost coming out. It's gonna connect with Gul'dan. He's now the new target here. Amazing into the fray, flipping him to safety. Um, Wally Snack coming in clutch. We kind of take this time here to look at some alties. Yeah, right as uh, he pops deadly charge. Interesting pickup at time. Yeah, I would say uh, the, the protected one. Uh, what's it called? Counter Strike? Counter Strike. A little bit more common here, but it's going to go ahead and rock deadly charge. Um, Looks like Alarok will safely get that turned in. Just a mere one gem away, as we do see uh, Urel taking Urel an awful of lot trouble. of damage here. Our defender going out, she's able to get a lot of health back with that, with the conjunction with White Mane. Gul'dan in a bit of trouble. Oh, an amazing peel Let's combo see. there from Alarak, as he does uh, protect his buddy, and here comes the devastating charge that's going out. He's on the back line, he's coming in hot for this Jaina. We do have a White Mane also on the run here from Garrosh. Looks like the, the flip is going to connect. An amazing body block. She can't walk away the taunt. And two, one, two members that will fall. It's a three for nothing trade in favor of Insomnia. And now that's going to be enough time for them to secure this next turn in. As um, they will have actually way more time. Um, going to be delaying that turn in point to go for the okay. uh, Bruiser. And having Gul'dan take out the Siege Camp. Um, this is a power play from Insomnia. Yeah. I think uh, after that first match, Insomnia realized they had to grab those pants, put them on, and show up ready to play. And coming into this defense, um, MSB is going to have all their alls up, uh, with the exception of Ardent Defender on Urel. And... That's a good thing because blue team has all of theirs as well. Oh, big sleep! Sleep comes out. Uh, the Alarak combo, and last there's right. the He's last rights. Hanzo is going to be the first to drop here. Johanna is going to fall as well. Level 13s did come online right before that um, fight, so they are going to be able to kind of uh, commit pretty hard here. And it looks like they might be able to take down all three forts and try to put some pressure on this middle keep. I would like to note that in uh, Johanna's last moment, she was able to finish uh, her Q quest. So it's great to see someone finish that. Yeah, definitely a pretty challenging quest. That's a complete, even if you don't finish it, it still gives quite a bit of value from the 80% slow. Um, Big Hanzo Arrow comes out, connects, just trying to buy some time for his team. Ring of Frost, Frost goes out. It's a big whiff. Hit. Horrify is out, but I'm not sure it connected with anyone either. And looks like we'll see a safe retreat there as they go ahead and get that mid wall, mid well, and top wall. And now they're uh, they have a little bit of a window here where they can just um, spread some pressure on the bottom lane, probably secure this and get uh, another uh, uh, wave of periodic catapults. Uh, Johanna getting flipped, uh, which is kind of bad news here for Wally Snit as he's falling awful low. Um, just trying to walk out of this. Um, he will escape. And now again, we have both teams here with enough gems to turn in. Uh, 
They did do a nice job at defending that fort. It is still standing for now. MSB here posturing on the bottom turn-in points. Uh, yep. Meanwhile, Malfail just controlling vision up here. So looking for his team. To, uh, level 16s are right around the corner, um, which could be really bad news. Yeah, I was about to say, despite losing the first two objectives, uh, MSB is only down two structures. Uh, they've lost a handful of protection, but they are definitely, certainly still in this game. We do see uh, members splitting up here a little bit, trying to uh, get those 55 gems from your rel turned in up top. It's exactly enough um, to get uh, to get their weaver face. So that's a really nice play go. here from the bagels. Calculated. Um, the, storm, the storm arrow comes out. It is a whiff, um, but it looks like they're still Let's pushing up here. Oh, big ring of frost hitting one, two, three members. Gul'dan again getting flipped oh. out. The end of the phrase are on point tonight. Very nice into the fray. That was look, looking like a devastating positioning, but yet again, Wally Snick coming in clutch with that into the fray, saving uh, the gold Daniel. This is looking like it's going to be pretty easy defend for Insomni at this point. Yeah, the level, level 16s are online, um, so it's going to make uh, it pretty hard to really commit to any of these um, to any of these lanes here. Larue coming out of Wally Snit, taking an awful lot of damage, but he's going to walk away. I'm really liking the aggression coming out from um, Insomnia here. Really just pushing that talent advantage. And uh, they know that they're up structures. They have a lot of time. Uh oh. Meanwhile, uh, last the taunt, the last rights, it comes out, it connects with Hanzo, and he's going to fall. Um, now the next target is might be the white main. She's falling awful low here. One, two, three members go down. It's a three for one trade. So they do manage to secure um, the Malthio. Um and I don't I don't know if that uh, they they were able to secure the bottom and top uh, forts there, but at the cost of three uh, three heroes. Yeah. So yeah, uh, overall not not really a, a terrible um, exchange. I do like to see them take get, getting some forts down, getting themselves some of those ever so satisfying periodic catapults. Do um, things better than a periodic catapult. Uh, non -per uh, full, full periodics. Full periodics. Full periodics. Um, Definitely better. Boston cream donuts. Boston cream donuts. Yeah, they're pretty pretty up there. Maybe a periodic catapult that carried a Boston cream. <laughs> like a peri periodic catapult that instead of shooting rocks, it's shooting Boston cream donuts. Um. Oh my gosh, that burst damage coming out on a Christy. Um. Yeah, and, and blue team kind of holding on to a lot of gems here. Already have 40 in the bank, 66 on their person. Um, so they are going to be securing another wave. Yeah, one thing that I think is important to note here is both teams are doing a great job of recovering any drop gems. I feel that once we uh -oh, get to Christy that... falling awful low here, the Gold Dawn Corruption is ticking in, but she's not going to go down. And there we see again that uh, little confirmation on Atlas Theory. Uh, everyone on MSB is full. Johanna super low and lots of trouble. Easy work for White Man. But MSB is in a bit of trouble at this mid keep here. Uh oh, Johanna getting flipped Johanna in. The last red's last coming out. out. Um, Urel popping hard defender, and Insomni doing a very good job of not really giving her too much help back. Yeah, Nana Boost coming online for the High Lord here. He's now moving in. in. Is, is he going to secure that kill on Urel? And it looks like the mid keep um, is definitely going to be falling here. We almost have a three level lead in this game and just taking a little bit of a moment to look at some damage numbers um, You know we see uh, one thing that sticks out to me here is uh, the gold down with 151k siege damage um, Just providing an incredible pressure um, And any lane that he's in here Johanna might be a kill target he gets flipped by Garrosh the unstoppable comes out But big damage connects a huge corruption white man is trying everything she gets she pops the healing up But it's not gonna be enough and a lot of gems are going down. Yeah. Um, and this looks like it might be a Could core. be the GG. 
The last uh, Weaver has just now fallen. Um, but we got, we got the Insomnias, Insomnia members here on the core. Hanzo's gonna fall. Yep. This will be the end. Okay, and just like that, Insomnia is back in this. Yeah. They, uh... Uh, pretty, pretty solid, uh, solid win for them. I mean, they lost, I think, one objective. Uh, made pretty easy work of the defense. I think they, on the objective they lost, they were able to secure, made a three for one trade. Um, so this game three, and look at that, 13 to one. Uh, I think in our first game we saw 15 to one in favor of MSB. Yeah. So, this is, uh... I don't know. I don't know where this goes yeah, in game three. It seemed, it, they they kind of flip-flopped some of the drafts. They flip-flopped the score. Um, but yeah, that was definitely a, a little bit, you know, 13 to 1 is kind of a, maybe looks like a stomp, but really um, the Bagels, I would say put up a really good fight there. Yeah, they didn't, I don't didn't really they feel played like. Poorly. Um, they, they always had, it seemed to be anyways, They once they had enough gems for their first turn in, they almost, for the rest of the game, always had enough for that next turn in. Um, so I think it just came down to who was going to get that pick and be able to secure the turn in and exploit it. Yeah, but... did you catch um, Did you catch the first pick um, for that map there? The first pick was, I think it went to, uh, was it Ana? Blue team I think, I think it first. was the Ana. Yeah, blue team banned a nub <laughs> to start. And so they had first pick. So uh, Alarak was last. I think we had Gul'dan and Garrosh in the second round. Yeah, yeah I so, believe Ana so was the first pick. that being said, um, it looks like uh, MSB was the uh, team that brought us to Spider Queen here. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, very interesting. Both... Um, on either map pick, the team that picked it uh, suffered a pretty hearty loss. Yeah, and we do have a game three scenario as a, a caster. You know, we love to see uh, a good all three games. Definitely more exciting for the players. Uh, quite a, quite a bit stressful. Yes, rather. Just waiting on the lobby here, find out where we're gonna be going. I never got those uh, those bands. Yeah, this is shaping up to be a pretty exciting series. And uh, thank you all here for, for hanging out in the chat. Um, hopefully you're having a good night here tonight. I'm having a lot of fun here casting this with my my brother Casey. We're gonna be doing another series immediately following this one. We'll be looking at two teams from Division A. BOE, let's go. Yeah, BOE would be pretty exciting. Uh, I got to cast a BOE match last night. As you know there, Colby. Uh, Majesty says Dragon Time. Okay, okay. Dragonshire is definitely like uh, a little stressful to play, I would say. Um, as all, all kind of all players are split in thirds throughout the map. Uh, bands were BOE and Altarak. Okay, thank you so much there, Volks. Let's get this up to date here. 
not necessarily sure who banned what, but that's all right. We'll just run this for now. Uh, my game casted next. Let's let's take a peek. Um, uh, the next series I'm going to be doing here tonight is. Nightwood, uh, Division A Nightwood versus Nobo eSprouts. And it's not sports, it's uh, Sprouts. Sprouts. <clears throat> she grabs a vegan team. So we are... Conf we're going to... Um, Dragonshire, you said? Or yet to be determined? Yeah, uh... Yet to be determined. Colby thinking maybe Cursed Hollow? <laughs> we've got we've got calls for uh, Blackheart's Bay <laughs> being the next map. Hanamura. Maybe Hanamura might out. come out. Haunted Mines, who knows? Old Hanamura? We, we might get Pretty a... <laughs> Pre-patch Hanamura? Pre-patch Hanamura, or pre-patch -pre Haunted Mines. <clears throat> right. Okay. <clears throat> so we're still just waiting on the lobby link, and we will get this underway. I think we'll go ahead and uh, reopen up our Ask Me Almost Anything while we're waiting for this lobby. If anyone in the chat's got questions, feel free to throw them, throw them out. Uh, okay, looks like it's going to be Infernal Shrines. Shrines. Although, although, perhaps this is an accidental lobby, as I just saw a mass exodus. All players leaving. <laughs> wrong, wrong map confirmed. confirmed. Not Infernal Shrines. We are not going to Infernal Shrines. Nope, 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 nope. Just, we got gotcha. you. The delayed April Fools. Okay. Uh, so for anyone just joining us, we are uh, in the Heroic Division. NGS. Uh, we're looking at a Game 3 situation with uh, Montreal style having a Pretty solid victory in game one. Yeah. Uh, with Insomnia turning it right back around and uh, answering with a solid victory of their own in game two. So at this point, um, not knowing anything about either team, uh, my prediction is whoever gets Anna is going to win. Yeah, Anna did seem to be kind of dominant there. Uh, and Dragonshire is going to be the map. Dragonshire. Oof. This map scares me to play on. Uh, yeah, this map also but scares I me a little like bit. To watch, I, I uh, watching it is that also I can get slightly better at it. It's a it's a bit tricky as as you know all the uh, rarely do the players come together all on the same screen, so it's like, going to be a lot of hopping around. Okay, and we our favorite day of the week going from Majesty. Uh, jeez. I mean, I gotta say, uh, I gotta say, f uh, Friday. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, not certain I have a favorite day, to be honest. Um, the way my schedule's set up, uh, you know, I got a lot of, I don't know, maybe Thursday, if I had to pick one, <laughs> uh, if I'm working a traditional week. If I say Thursday. Start. Yeah, what, what makes Zara so strong in high ranks? 1v5, uh, level 16. Yeah. 10, 16, 20. Agreed. Um, yeah, I've been putting some, uh, I've been putting in some solo queue, Zara tool, kind of storm league, trying to grind up a little bit. And uh, yeah. it's I, been, it was maybe two or three years since I played him last, but damn, he, he is. Uh, he's very good. He's very good. So many, he's so many, like. Up. Abilities to blink around, like latch onto your target. Yeah. You can reset uh, with the Might of the Nair Zim ulti. You can you can double cast any of your. It basically just copies your last casted ability. 
Yeah. Um, he has that uh, his active one to hop right back to a target he's yep. attacking. If you take the uh, the one v one build, you can uh, blink again to your last target uh, to whoever you hit your with your W. Um, right. So you can just stick to people yeah. a lot. You can get in and out, um, and just with like any of those higher skill cap heroes, I mean, the better you get with him, the much much more effective and scary he becomes. I mean, you got him. You just never know where he's gonna come from. He'll pop in, do a ton of damage. You don't know what's happening, and he's gone. And it can be a little pesky. A, uh, he is a pest. A little pest there, and we uh, have confirmation. We got. Uh, it looks like both teams ready. Okay. We're going to be kicking off this game three at Dragonshire. <laughs> uh, Colby says Sunday Amiibo, hands Amiibo down. Tournament. Yeah, we do uh, uh, We do a podcast uh, over on Follow Up a Goose's channel um, where we kind of host a, a viewer uh, Amiibo tournament for Smash Brothers Ultimate. No one's actually playing. We just uh, name, name the Amiibos after our viewers, uh, whoever types join in chats. And they will, uh, we, we set them up in a tournament and they duke it out for our entertainment. Now I was curious about, um, I was curious about Zeratul's level four. I know a lot of people um, go for Wormhole, um, but then the one talent you mentioned that lets you activate your W your, again. Yeah, I um, think. And it also gives you maybe movement speed. I mean, oh, and just Anna like that, out, so Garrosh is banned, say, Ana is banned. I say no team wins this game. Ana is not in the game. Um, no, no team can win. Uh, yeah, I think with with that, that level 4 talent, there's the, what I, what I hear people refer to as the 1v1 build. Um, okay. Speak of the devil, there he goes. Uh, there was a post on Reddit of a guy playing Zeratul with that build, just going in 1v1ing every hero on the enemy team. Um, and then it got, you just saw everybody running that build after that. Um, yeah, and then the Maya again, okay. I'm thinking that probably a targeted band, or maybe it's just a hero that they just do not like to play against just in case. I'd say Maya my, my definitely one of the strongest, if not the strongest hero in the game right now. One of the contenders for it. Um, it can be extremely lethal um, with a team that's um, able to pilot her. Yeah. And Avatar is on the table. Um, Tremble before we will see Diablo getting picked up here. You know, I think Avatar is a pretty interesting pick. Uh, Nub coming through. First game that we've seen a Nub let through the bands, and he will be snagged pretty quick. Yeah, and I, I kind of say with Avatar, you know, he doesn't provide a body, um, which is actually can be pretty challenging on this map where you need to be split so thin. But he is Victory able to, you know, with with that hat, breath. kind of uh, turn the tides of either top lane or bottom lane, get some body soaking in. I don't know if we'll see him, um, but I think it could be something that comes up here. Um, and then meanwhile, the Sylvanas and uh, Rhaegar coming out from MSB. Last band for Insomnia. Yeah, Malthale. I, okay. Okay. Now did they? I think they, they played Malthale. I believe they ran. Uh, last yeah. Game, right? I believe they were running Malthale. I think. Um, okay. He can be a pretty strong solo laner, especially against a lot of the tanks uh, or the bruisers. Excuse me. The kind of uh, bruiser, more bruiser warrior types. And the Dahaka. Three and four coming out for Insomnia. We will see him. Spurious. Spurious Hanzo. Kind of Hanzo going back and. Uh, actually, no, this is the first time uh, Insomnia is going to be running Hanzo tonight. Jiro on Phoenix. Hmm. Very excited to see this Phoenix play. Oh, Enthrall. Enthrall. I love this draft for Montreal style. The Eagles. Two of my favorite heroes to play Phoenix and Thrall. Yeah, imagine we're gonna see Thrall off in that top lane there. Um, the Ooh. Oh yeah, or 
Morphia coming out. Wow. Now which trip do I like better? I don't know. <laughs> this is tough. I think, yeah, I, I think I Cocoon like insomnia. is gonna get you like insomnia. I, I, yeah, I'm kind of like leaning insomnia. towards Insomnia yeah. here. I can see the Cocoon getting some really big value. Um, throwing that onto the Diablo. They also have uh, qu quite a bit of uh, kill pressure between Tyrande, between a number rock, and then um, yeah, lots of lockdown, lots of burst. But yeah, either way, one one of these teams is going to be walking away, um, the victor, as this is uh, game three tonight. This one's for all the all the marbles. All the marbles, indeed. Chloe McWolby fan of the uh, Phoenix pickup. Same. Very much the same, Colby. Heroes, prepare for combat. All right, we are ready to do this game three. Heroic Division, MGS. Got Insomnia and Montreal style bagels. Finishing it off. Got yeah, Insomnia. We have Orphea playing uh, Battle Jet. Uh, Orphea, Psycho on the Toronto, Wally Snit rocking that Love Bug Anub, uh, French with the Hanzo, and then Jamster on the Inspirious. Over on the red side, you guys know these guys already. We got Christy on the Diablo, Banana on Rhaegar, Fiducia on Thrall, Dijira on Phoenix, and Breakwood on Sylvanas. We've got a Crash Lightning coming out for Thrall. Very excited to see how that goes. I'm curious on him taking that, given that he would probably. Yeah, I was kind of. I was kind of lane. thinking. Yeah, it looks like they might send Phoenix up to the solo lane there instead. Um, he's also going with the Arsenal Synergy Talent level one, um, giving him like kind of additional uh, lane clear, um, powering up that uh, Pulse Bomb. Yeah, it looks like, okay, it's going to be Phoenix to the top then. I am no longer questioning the Crash Lightning pick. I like it. Looks like we've got... Yeah, and Samia possibly sitting up for a gank in the uh, Triangle of Death region. However, we're going to just you think yourself go ahead and to get the Soaking the Lanes. Knight's power? Prove it. Take control of the Shrine. First Shrine phase is spawning here. We do see Hanzo splitting off throughout that siege camp nice and early. Meanwhile, um, Rhaegar and Bagel's Sylvanas. going for a few very early camps. I like it. Usually it's kind of hard to find time to run this uh, the hard camp up top here. But between Rhaegar and Sylvanas, yeah. you can be blasting it down nice and early. Capture the shrine. Inherit the Dragon Knight's power. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit rough here for Imperius laying up against the Phoenix. Especially with that bruiser camp coming in. It's gonna come down to. Looks like. Insomnia. Well. Okay. Insomnia is sending Hanzo up there to help out uh, Pressure Top. I think. Yeah, oh, meanwhile, uh, oh, Wally Snit is gonna be camp. scouting that. We have four members down on the bottom here. They're gonna secure that um, for the red team. Um, and like you mentioned, yeah, uh, up top we got um, French on the Hanzo kind of helping out clear out this hard camp. Uh oh, Thrall may be a target here. He does get comboed by a number rock. The initiation goes out. The Lunar Flare is a big whiff. Um, he's going to be walking away. Um, yeah, Sylvanas is kind of nicely escorting in these bottom siege camps. Um, meanwhile, Insomnia coming down to rotate. I'm trying to clear them out. We do see, uh, it looks like... Um, red team will have control over both both uh, shrines here. Thrall may be able to take this midpoint uncontested. It's not going to be quite enough. Diablo goes in. Another rock gets stunned against the wall. A um, big lunar flare coming out, hitting two targets. Another reinitiation. Um, the damage is now flying. Oh, Insomnia yeah, picking up the first off. kill. Um, as we see, Inspirious kind of winning out that top lane as well. We do have Thrall sitting in the middle though. Uh, this is gonna they're not gonna commit quite for the shrine but they are gonna move down here trying to take out the bottom uh, hard camp uh i believe toronto was scouted on the way there but oh all of a sudden might be rock. 
Stunned against the wall, but he's able to peel for himself with those uh, paling spines. Or is that what they're called? Spines? Okay. Oh, big Lunar Flare hitting two flare. targets. Not gonna, oh, number rock burrowing in, but it's not going to be enough. We see Hanzo's now against the wall. Um, Orphia coming in to finish off that Rhaegar. Yeah, Sylvanas no in the fall. back. Um, looks like it's going to be a throw pit scenario for the bottom here. Uh, oh. Number rock, big burrow charge coming Diablo in. Diablo's going to fall now. Nice follow up stun. Phoenix rotates all the way down from the top hand lane here. Oh, and Orphea is so close. Orphea is, is a scary hero. Yes, I, I love I love me some Orphea. She's so incredibly fun to play. Oh, yeah, I've been Let's playing say a lot one, one of my favorite heroes, if not my favorite hero in the game right now. So, Will? Brawl's gonna have enough time to cap. Oh, he will not. Okay. First Dragonite is going over to Insomnia. I'm curious to see where, where Storm Division teams are going to be take how, how they handle this first Dragonite. Probably looking to just yeah. get the get the middle wall down and then maybe move it onto bottom lane. One thing important to note with that too is that the Dragon did have about, look like a wave and a half almost right at that first wall. Um, that may have had something to do with his placement there, but he's just going to take that first wall and head right to bot lane. He's got a fresh wave approaching and three members Ooh. of his team. A little bit of an awkward charge there. Can't quite uh, get Sylvanas booted away. And Dragonite is going to be falling. They almost get this uh, bottom wall here as well. Um, the Q build, Hanzo. Okay. This, this time through. Um, we see uh, Insomnia splitting off to clear the siege camp, but it's uh, sniffed out by the Bagels, and they're moving in for a big invade here. Um, kind of a nasty choke to fight in. So they might not fully commit. As we do see near all five members down um, in this triangle of death, as you coined before. Meanwhile, Diablo's going to be the stun target. You get uh, b Big stun by Imperius. He will fall first, but uh, Imperius is in a bad spot, and he goes down as well. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Um, can they big get more? For Phoenix. Ooh. Ooh. Nice cleanse and be able to dodge that Lunar Flare. Big trades in the bot. Orphea will fall. It's, a, it's like a three for one in favor of Bagels. Both teams about, about even on experience. Yeah, tens are right around the corner here. Uh, Thrall is only sitting at nine stacks of the Crash Lightning. Um, Gonna gonna be a long long time before that fully comes online, but he is gaining each uh, more damage each charge. Um, Looks like we're gonna go ahead and see uh, MSB go ahead and grab their bottom siege, while Insomnia will grab their top hard camp. And MSB answering with the hard camp throne. Yep, and now the next online. If we wanna take a look at those, yeah, absolutely. Um, lightning, lightning breath coming out from the Diablo this time. Ancestral healing, earthquake, um, purification salvo. A nice little wombo combo right there. Uh, die for vision. This, this, this combo here screams die for vision. <clears throat> when you can't get starfall, earthquake will work in a pinch. Earn his power and destroy your enemies. And uh, on Insomnia, we're gonna have Orphea grabbing the crushing jaws. Imperius with the angelic armaments. A Nubrak with the Cocoon, Starfall on Taronda, and the Dragon's Arrow for Hanzo. We have four members um, from the Bagels here in the bottom lane. A Nubrak is going to be rotated into. He might be a kill target here. Uh, the Root did come out early, uh, but he's just going to kind of burrow away. I mean, do have confirmation. Bob, Zom, uh, Bob Zombie is on his way for the next series. We're going to be cutting Ooh. it pretty close yeah. uh, as it's due to start in about 23 minutes. I think you make it work. We can probably make it work here. That would be, I mean, I don't want to say it out loud. Um, games 1 and 2 did finish in under 30 minutes, so... Okay. Looking like Insomnia is going to... Pierce's got top pretty well secured, and they've got a pretty pretty dominant hold on the bot lane. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, like... Insomnia shoving in bottom here. I'm going to be getting a... Uh, two, two turrets. Diablo with a big flank coming out. He does get Psycho. Tyrannus, uh gonna be able to walk away. Some peels coming out. 
little bit of a stalemate up top here. It looks like M MSB is going to come into this bottom, uh, this bottom temple. Both teams about the same distance away from 13, so this is a safe fight for them as they're going three on three in the bot lane. French has flipped over. Got this trade to get out of there safely. Uh, did Orphea take the AOE one or the stun heroic? Uh, she took stun. the stun. Jaws. Yep, crushing jaws. Um, and okay, so far, four to four yeah, takedowns. Um, the forts uh, are, are dead even. Um, I think we've got two walls down um, on the side of the MSB. So Insomnia kind of sitting at a very minor structure advantage here. Wally Snit has found himself awful deep. A big Lunar Flare comes out. It stuns three members. Um, and then also the Hanzo arrow stun, but it's not going to be enough. Taronda is going to get dove on by that Rhaegar. Um, Van Ana securing a nice, nice kill. And this might be enough uh, for them to pick up the dragon. And oh my gosh, it's just coming online here. Sylvanas sitting at 79 stacks on the Unfurling Shadows. The burst damage she's putting out on the whole team um, is quite scary. So we see Rhaegar kind of splitting off uh, to be clearing these siege camps. Meanwhile, uh, Insomnia clearing the siege of their own. I think we uh, we may have missed uh, Imperius securing a kill on Phoenix in the top lane. Uh, we absolutely missed it by a long shot here um, as a uh, little little solo action. Um, uh oh, uh, big and big coming out from Samia. They are on the point. The cocoon comes out on Diablo. Uh, self cast ancestral uh, on uh, that Rhaegar there. They will secure Very that nice siege camp. Yeah, inside of uh, Insomnia there. Yeah, big big invade play. Um, should give them a little bit of pressure, a little bit of time to maybe secure yep. uh, a dragon knight here. That camp is not really going to give really any value as far as pushing the lanes, but it will pull a lot of the members of MSG back to just try and kill it, giving them enough time to go ahead and cap that bottom point and take that bottom hard camp. Man, I like this play. They're, they're both escorting in these giants as well as trying to capture this hard camp. We do see two members um, from MSB up top here in the top lane, so they have... Uh, at least that much knowledge. Um, not quite going for the dragon yet. It's quite uh, can be quite difficult to actually secure that. Um, but they will take the bottom bruiser. And although they didn't get the uh, very minor damage on the fourth, they did get rid of that moon well, which does does give you a slight advantage. In yeah, Virgo's in a, a big a big whiff from the Hanzo arrow. He yeah, shoots it backwards. Slight misclick there as it goes. Dead hit for the Altar of Storm, for the Hall of Storms. Yeah, Hall of Storms uh, is going to be taking some friendly fire damage from that Dragon Arrow. Thrall looking for maybe a big Earthquake flank. Um, almost all the alts are online here. Because um, we do see uh, kind of four members from each team down here in the bottom lane. Uh, and Sonya trying to do everything they can to get damage on that structure. Uh oh, uh, Phoenix. Phoenix a bit of trouble here. Triangle of Death. Fall. Bermuda, uh, Bermuda Triangle. He's deleted. Another uh, kill in favor of Insomnia. <clears throat> yeah. So one thing that we were talking about is we we both I know struggle on this map. Um, and it, it seems to be almost uh, similar to the Towers of Doom strat that you were talking about earlier. Where you have a committed member to the top lane, and most of the priority seems to be in that bottom lane. Uh, popping back up to mid just to grab Soak or deny a cap. Um, but it seemed, I feel like we've seen yeah, most almost always here. three or four members of each team in the bot lane. Uh, the occasional split for a camp. And uh, uh, just having that, uh, a, a nice kind of duo or solo hero that can grab that top camp fast. Um, just to kind of give your top lane some reinforcements. Uh, uh oh, meanwhile, Diablo Christy is getting awful low here. She might be the killer. Nice, nice Q uh, out of the uh, pressure there. Cocoon comes Hanzo out. Arrow to start. All, all the damage still going out on Christy. A big uh, earthquake turnaround. All of a sudden, Insomnia is on the run. Orphe is following herself awful low, and she's going to be the first to fall um, as this fight gets turned around by the Bagels. Putting some cream cheese on that uh, Orphea. 
Um, Molly Stick kind of going back in, looking for maybe a kill on Diablo. Um, Hanzo, not quite enough to take him out, but Big Lunar Flare Ooh. comes out the stun. He's so low, 400 health. He's just been walking Let's away. See. Oh. Oh. That Hanzo. If Phoenix was kind of thinking about rotating down, but he's, they're going to be giving this yeah. fort. Um, so the first fort of the game is going to go over to Insomnia. Um, we got some uh, Logicala with a, uh, some dank memes there in the chat with the French lull. <laughs> Definitely a little bit of a feels bad moment. I, I, I know we've all whiffed our alts there before. Um, yeah, kind of taking this moment to look over some damage. Want to see where the Hanzo's at. Sitting at 41. A thousand hero damage for his team. Followed up uh, the enemy team. Sylvanas sitting at 36. Um, she's going to keep stacking up there. Um, Diablo rotating kind of into a little bit of trouble. But we do have all, all members. Um, uh, except for Imperius there. Who is going to be securing that top uh, shrine. And so far only one dragon has come out thus far. Seems to be right now MSB is just going to commit most of the resources to that mid lane. Look to deny the turn and get a pick and wait until that point to... Verification Salvo comes turn. out also with the Lightning Breath wall. Uh, we'll see ooh, and a big go whoop. down. Big stun. And we'll see Tyrande fall as well. And with those, with that two-man advantage, they're not going to split off. Take both points and we'll see if they can secure a dragon with this. Yeah, Fe Phoenix is Zombie ready. Very quick to respond to the bot lane. Big, big Hanzo arrow, and Christy will fall. Yeah, Diablo's souls are now going to be very... reset here. It's going to take him a little bit. Uh, he's he's going to be the only kind of front front line here for MSB. So it's a fair setback. This he's going to be a squishy uh, Lord of Terror. Very nice play from Insomnia there. Very quick to respond. Ah, very decisive. And they really just kind of really oh my shut gosh down the, the damage world. coming out from Sylvanas Spoke and Diablo getting a clutch Spoke too soon shadow charge uh, against that moon well there we're gonna see a dragon in favor of MSB if Imperius is there trying to delay the cap um, Christy coming in um, scaring him off and they're gonna be yielding that next dragon here going over to the side of MSB Gonna be doing just a little bit of damage here on that mid lane, looking to prioritize bottom again. Uh oh, Wally Snit is finding himself in a really rough spot here as he's gonna go down, picking up uh, two kills here. Orpheus still not quite revived yet. Oh, big Imperious Spear through that little hedge hedge row. Um, Red team has destroyed a fort. Hanzo trying to bait someone in here. He did just use his scatter arrow, um, but he's just gonna be jumping out. Fort goes down, and they're moving on to the keep here, Casey. They still got the one man advantage. The nub is down. Really, uh, Imperius able to provide a little bit of a front lane for him, but without without that nub, uh, Hanzo Tarandi Orphea are a little bit scared of this comp. Okay. Just gonna walk away, uh, getting that one for it, a little bit of, and and that first wall for the keep. Um, uh oh, Orphea is finding himself in a rough position. The Rue comes out. Oh, there it is. The oh, Earthquake, the salvo. The earthquake salvo. Oh my goodness. One, two, Amazing. three members fall. A beautiful Wombo there beautiful from the Baggles. Uh, and Sonia just got toasted. They did. Uh, that's a moment where I like to use one of my favorite sayings It's only got to work once. It's only got to work once. If you do it at the right time, it's only got to work once. Wally Snit on the number rock trying everything he can. Jams out of the big. Diablo. Big cocoon here, will it be enough? Damage is coming out of his code, 65%, 55%. Uh, it's falling awful low here. It looks like, oh, Magic the GG's are flying. Be GG. And there we go, just wow. like that. Man. The bagels, looking crispy tonight. Crazy. Yeah, well, interesting to note, um, the only structure damage, bot lane. 